It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, uh, so Dave made a little mistake and we didn't end up with the uh, uh, third game yet, but that should come soon. It looks like I got pottery, which I knew because that was that was a one-time thing. So we'll do that. All right, let's see here. This dude needs somewhere to go. Looks like we found... Dan's capital. I didn't even realize I was right by Dan's capital. Look at that. Berlin. Right? That is his capital, isn't it? Is that what capitals look like? There's Rome. There's Jewish. Yep, that's his capital. Alright, so he really forward settled me. Dan did that on purpose. Daniel, shame on you. I'm going to go put that in our Slack chat right now. Uh, that's just ridiculous what he did there that's uh man i can't believe he would do that let's uh let's go and i'm gonna say uh dan just found your capital man did you forward settle me that's crazy all right anyway let's come back to the game all right uh lots of things here delhi needs more housing which uh, I think once I do my military thing, my bobber. Let me actually add that to my to-do list here. To say, um, to say, do 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 do. Let's see, archer, oracle. Uh, actually, let's have my sword do it. Uh, at the very least, it should do a uh, military uh, district and then barracks. Because you know. Since that allows you to shoot at people, and they're the furthest out from the capital. Uh, although, Delhi should probably do it too as well, so given that they're two as well. Wow, that's redundant. Uh, they should probably do it as well, um, because uh, that will uh, not only give me two, uh, abil two different cities that can build people with... Um, uh, you know, veteran status or whatever it's called now in this game, but also it'll uh, allow me to defend my capital a little better. All right, so Dan's accepted my deal, which I don't even remember what the F that deal was. And I was attacked by variants, okay. Um, so she wants me to do irrigation, which gives me plantations and step wells. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to do that. Good job, uh, advisor. All right, production. We're at Acadia, or Ag Agra? Agra. So I had next on my list to do a holy site, which they're also agreeing with. Oh, they also want me to build a settler. But seeing where I'm at right now, I think I'm going to have to, I mean, I could maybe put something over here, but I think I'm going to have to grow by destroying Preslov or something. This is, although they've got quite the military compared to me. At any rate, we will go with a holy site for now. Um, all right, so those agras, right? You want to build them near your holy sites. So, <clears throat> so then the question would be, where do I have the most leeway for those things? And. The answer to that is maybe here, or if I put one here or here, then I could put them there. So I think I'll pay the fee. And I'll go here. Yep. Um, which of course, unfortunately, uh, does place my district in Agra's in a place where it's easy for Dan to pillage, but we'll deal with that when it happens. All right, so I've got a builder over here, and he was going to build a farm, which I want near my Agra things. Or at least either there or near a religious district, which means this one's not in a good place unless I want to get rid of the woods or my dyes or my cattle. Um, but okay, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I think there'll be room to put stuff over here. All right, so I've got a builder here. And he's got bonus resources, and we've got... Oh, perfect, yes, yes. Uh, so I can do agras instead of farms. So let's go here. And here. Can we kill this guy already? Excellent. 
What is this? Mercury, a luxury resource, which is something I needed. So maybe I should tell someone to build a settler to come out here and get horses and mercury. Uh, we'll put that with Agra after the religious district, I'll say. Settler. And I will put a marker here so I can remember, because I am not going to remember otherwise. Uh, met pin. Add a pin. Uh, here. City to get Mercury. Oh, that's a district. Eh, close enough. All right. Uh, right, so let's see. Maybe I'll add some pins here. This. Oh, where's my second city pin? That does not need to be there anymore. Goodbye. All right, let's put here, add pin. Um, Agra. I'll add another pin here. Agra, maybe? Actually, this pin, delete it. We'll add a pin here, Agra. And in it actually, to keep Dan from effing me over, I am also going to purchase that land. Ha! Huh. And I don't think there's anything he can do about it because this is not the expansion pack where you can win people over like you can in Civ 4. I'll buy that, and I'll buy that. Just try and, that's what you get for forward settling me, Dan. All right, so, um, let's bring you, <laughs> he might attack me just for that. <laughs> you never know sometimes with Dan, uh, especially since my military is not that big at the moment. Um, all right, let's bring this guy here for healing. Let's bring you over here in case Dan gets any ideas. All right, next turn. Start turn. You don't need orders. Some jade. All right. Next turn. Make a note. Military units in case Dan gets ideas. All right, so I'll do that in a couple of my cities just to increase my military a bit. All right. Um, another builder here. All right. Uh, let's come back over here. Save that game. Submit the file. Go to the main menu. Let's play the next turn. All right, I should be ready to go. Load that sucker up. And I'll let you guys listen to Sean Bean so I can compose an extra life email. Life beneath water. The great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Qin Shi Huang. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls and towering one. All right, let's come back to the game over here. Uh, great, now he's freaking protected, the bastard. All right, um... Mm. It's a major victory, but it doesn't put me in good shape. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna withdraw to here for now and wait till I can make some more units. David wins this round. All right, so we'll save. That was fast. All right, it's been Eric playing uh, Civ 6. I'll see you next time. Bye.